for this camp, you know, we really had the good fortune of having a lot of video. One of the downsides about being an amateur fighter is that a lot of time you get a name and you never know what the guy looks like until you step in there. You don't even know what he does. We definitely put me out of my comfort zone with the things I don't like to train and tried to take away as many weaknesses as we could while honing as many skills that I already have. Having a stage so big is surreal for me. You know, having a fight online with over a thousand views, you know, it's, it's kind of surreal. So to have a title fight against somebody like Alex Henry is, is crazy. I've been watching him since Fortune Fight League, and this kid is just not lost. He's never looked uncomfortable in any of his fights. So. One thing about Alex's striking is it's really good. It's a lot, of, uh, a lot of leg motion, and I'm a lot of hands, so it's just like the battle of high versus low. We both have pretty comparable ground games, so if it goes there, it should be entertaining. We're very comparable in all aspects, but we're very different in how we go about doing things, so it's going to be a real fun time watching our different styles. Every fight I've had, I've, I've been the under dog. I've never been supposed to win, so every time I have, it's been surreal. I feel very lucky, feel very blessed, and it's uh, it's humbling. Yeah, I'm never going to be the best guy. Um, I'm never going to be the strongest guy, the most technical, but I pride myself in hoping that I'm the hardest working. I think the reason why they gave me this fight with, with Alex is that we're both really exciting to watch. Glue yourself to this one, because it's going to be crazy. clear up this myth right now. So a lot of people think that I come from a traditional background. Uh, I don't. I actually come purely from watching other people uh, and YouTube videos, things like that. I, I watch a lot of people who know what they're doing, a lot of instructional videos. I've, I've never actually taken classes. My brother Eric Henry, is, uh, he's been pretty successful in the pro career and um, one of his biggest things is his kicks too. Me and my brother do spar together a lot. Um, to tell you the truth, we don't we don't do it as much anymore because it kind of ends up as a stalemate. It just ends up being a really technical chess match. My last fight scheduled for a 170 pound title match as well. It uh, didn't work out. The, the opponent didn't make weight. It was kind of upsetting, you know. I went all the way out to Rochester. I, I had an injury and I still made weight and I was still there to fight. And I get there and I find out that my guy cut weight to 185 pounds. So uh, I wasn't really okay with that. You don't fight for a 170 pound title cutting to 185, it, it doesn't make any sense. So I was, I was pretty disappointed and I'm glad that uh, Torin uh, is available to take this fight. Fighting Torin Reeves is actually a pretty big thing for me. He's, um, he's got some exciting wins, uh, you know, some good knockouts, TKOs. I have a lot of respect for the way that he conducts himself outside the cage. He's, he's not a trash talker, he's very respectful. He goes in and tries to win fights through being tough and technique. He doesn't try and get in guys' heads and and be the bad guy. He doesn't, uh, he just doesn't like being rude, you know? He's, he's respectful, and I respect that. I think that I have the edge in speed. Uh, if it comes to us just standing toe-to-toe -to -toe and swinging at each other, uh, hopefully I land first. I know he's got big power, and um, yeah, it could just be like two trains coming at each other. Who knows what's gonna happen? 